Stan, a professional diver in the North Sea, is struggling to overcome a life-changing loss during an extended mission underwater. Stuck in a self-imposed solitude, he starts to experience strange events and will have to make the most significant choice of his life. Guys, welcome to Under the Waves. There are three types of people, the living, the dead, and those who are at sea. Base to Capsule 12. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, there's gratitude for you. The finest in Unitrench deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? <sighs> old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. I mean, headlines alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Packed the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. Just means there's more that can go wrong. Forget about it, you'll be fine. Alright, last thing. Helmet mic check. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue? You have no idea. Okay. All right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. That's the spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. Should be all set up by now. Should be a big door right in front of you. Head through there. That's the garage bunker. Easy as falling off a log. Oh, I like that. You can close and open the HUD. Close it for a more immersive experience. This looks... This looks gnarly. Well, hello there, lads. <laughs> it's been a while. Hey, little fishies! I'm assuming open the bunker through here. Okay, rotate. I still, at this point in time, have got no idea. What the story's about. I just know we're a diver. And we're at sea. And that already is just enough to... Heading in. Pique my curiosity, if you will. Bunker. Reach the hangar. I think the game takes uh, place over the course of several days. I'm not sure how many days, but... The days are like chapters, I think. Ooh. Oh, look at that crab! Does it pinch me? No? Okay, just in case. Looks like a lift. I wonder if we can kind of like bring back the, uh, what is this? Ugh. Metal. That is a lift. All right, hold on. Before I pull on that. Ooh, 
Stanley Murray personal information. Your recent request has been approved, although I'm still not sure where this has come from. This guy, Stan Murray, is now under your supervision as an offshore operator. Have fun. Okay, I'm not going to dive too much into the menu and all of its things until the game prompts us to. Look at all this littering. What's going on here? Don't we care for our oceans and our... Oh, hold on. What is that? Uh, okay. Before I go in there, now I want to go back and pull the lever. I know, I know I'm taking my sweet time here, and I'm pro probably running low on oxygen. <gasps> oh, we are running low on oxygen. That's the first thing they told us. They must have used something like this to get all my stuff down. Okay. Better not have broken anything. First thing they told me, watch your oxygen, and I'm here walking around as if I'm not underwater, you know? Hmm. <laughs> it's darker in here than it is out there. Well, that's not right. Looks like something tripped up the fuses. Been a while since anyone's been down there. Hang on a moment, I've got maintenance on the other line. Uh, uh, hello? What? There, lad. You're going to need to power up the place manually, so head on through to the generator room. Fairly sure I didn't tick engineer on my application form. Lucky for you, Unitrench had the lowest common denominator in mind when designing our facilities. There's a couple of Jennies in here with big old startup levers. Find, pull, voila, instant power. Whatever. Um, but if this goes wrong, I'm not paying for it. I'm, I'm running low on oxygen here, guys. You know, just... Just pointing out the obvious here. game to just relax to the music the environment everything is just so calming how big is this place big it's the hub for a load of the systems in these parts the garage itself is another part of the facility see that door beneath the fans i'm gonna have to swim to it you're going to have to swim to it uh how much air does this suit have again enough Look, if you get stuck, we'll send a drone after you. They've picked up worse. <laughs> Alright, how are we swimming? Why? Okay. Alright. Woohoo! We're doing this. Alright, here Remember, we go. Swim you up can down. Adjust your depth as well as your direction. That suit's pretty hardy, so don't worry about poking any holes in it. Believe me, the pencil necks put it through more stress than you ever will. So A is to boost, to swim a little faster. I think right now the O2 is going to be stuck there at the two marks. Just for the purpose of us learning the uh, controls and whatnot. That'd be pretty terrible for us to just drown right off the bat. I don't think that's going to be a possibility. So I shouldn't be too worried about that. This game is... I love how when the character's closer to the camera, he kind of blurs out a bit. Or like depth perception that's so freaking cool press y to land and we're back on ground okay um another door hang on there a moment time for what the boys in hr call a learning opportunity if you're sure. All right, so we got to take some oxygen sticks. Press Y to swim. And off we go. Have a look over there. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Oxygen sticks. Two steps ahead, as usual. I forgot they integrated them into the training. Pretty impressive stuff, Tim. In suit oxygen resupply. You have no idea how much of a headache those things were to get working. So you can actually store them. It's not like you take them and then... 
Interesting. Hold on, let me go up here. Before I use them, just want to make sure. case just lying around though. Unit Trench are committed to a minimum impact operation. Also, you never know, might come in handy. Oh, so you use it and then you pick up the plastic. So this is the uh, Surfinder Foundation. Plastic pollution. Plastics are one of the deadliest signs of our passage. Whether it's turtles getting stuck in can holder rings or seals choking to death on a bottle top. Every piece of the stuff is a potential killer. It's thought that somewhere between 75 and 200 million tons of plastic is out there in the oceans. Emma said that's almost 25,000 billion microplastic particles. I don't even know numbers that big existed. I cannot even imagine the damage that much plastic is doing to the seas. So a congregation of plastic waste floating in the surface. The ones around here are relatively small, but Emma told me uh, of one in the North Atlantic that stretches for hundreds of kilometers. Hundreds. It's hard to fathom. Matter of fact, she joined a huge protest last year against just this kind of pollution alongside NGOs like Surfrider. Big conference of oil execs. Unitrench was there, of course. Uh, they ended up sending in the private security to clear out the protesters. Got some sort of picture here. Ooh. Let's get inside. Job's a good one. Head on through to the garage. Getting a little claustrophobic in here. Yeah. Wait. Are you telling me they haven't put the wallpaper up? Oh, Stan. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> Clouds and little birds. Soup. Very funny. The wallpaper. And there she is, the moon. Pride of the Unitrench fleet. Really? No, she's a piece of junk. But good enough for the likes of you. So that really the... helps the crushing anxiety, old man. I'm joking. She's a solid piece of kit. Now you're a fully qualified Unitrench service diver. We spared no expense. Well, we thought she might come in handy. We'll have to decouple those clamps first, obviously. A couple of buttons on each side there. You know the drill. Hold on, I want to see. Uh... I don't think I can do anything here. Yeah, the game is making me go back. Hold on, we can grab some of these things. I like that you can actually, you know, you're swimming. Plenty of energy in this. But um, you can actually go on the ground and just walk. It, it does make it much easier. The unemployment agreement. Excuse me. The employment agreement. Stanley Murray. 38 years of age. Offshore maintenance operator of class 3. Alright, by signing the attached documentation, the above named agrees to perform any and all tasks as mandated by the assigned Unitrench supervisor by any member of the Unitrench Offshore Advisory Board. The above name waives any and all rights to enter into legal proceeding against the company on the basis of workload, working hours, pre-existing medical conditions, medical conditions encountered during the period of employment, injury, death, industrial negligence, uh, or termination. The company reserves the rights to alter the rate and method of remuneration within a notice period of one hour. Should the above name fail to adhere to these conditions, the company reserve reserves the right to determine employment of the above named without notice and the engage in any and all relevant legal actions is deemed pursuant to the circumstances of the above named's failure to comply any discussions with other personnel or external parties related or adjacent to the forming of a labor union or, colla or collective bargaining unit will also lead to termination without notice sheesh 
Oh, I like that. You can sort them by date. And this is obviously congratulations, employee. As an offshore maintenance operative, you're a, you're an essential part of the Unitrench family. Your well-being is our priority. Through the extensive research we found, keeping a record of life helps maintain a steady emotional baseline, meaning you feel great, live better, and work better. All right. Please find attached Unitrench notepad for your daily logs. Remember to uh, the more personal the entry, the stranger your mental fortitude. Welcome aboard. That's nice to read right after that first letter we read. I guess release the clamps. First Maybe? lock release. Yeah. Looks like she's all fueled up. You were a diver once upon a time. Was that here or? Oh no, this is the training ground for kiddies. I used to work in the real deep, way down at the original site. Count yourself lucky we don't need you down there, lad. I mean it. Uh-oh. Something tells me we're gonna go there eventually. Because eventually they're gonna need me. Alright. Moon has been unlocked. Go ahead and climb on board now. There's a star on that little radar. I'm kind of intrigued. I don't think we can go there yet, but... I'd be lying if I didn't say I'm intrigued. Anyways, let's... Let's go inside Moon, shall we? Oh, just like in training. Primary motor on. Check flaps and rudder. Spinning up rotors. Impressive. <laughs> Not just a pretty face. Think of it like swimming, but faster. And with a higher insurance premium if you smack yourself into something. Green across the board. Looks like we're good. But all right. Door should have unlocked. Off you go. All right, here we go. Doors working as intended, I see. The wonders of automation. Okay. I was kind of expecting a big reveal there, Tim. It's all about timing, dear boy. You'll see. Lots of life. Even down here. Now, let's get you out of this cave and we'll see about getting you to your new home. Whoa. A first person view. What? About the timing. She can be a beauty, that's for sure. All right, quite enough of that. Off you go. You need to reach the life module. That's the tub you'll be calling home for the next few weeks. You can use the sonar system to highlight your position. Should make getting lost a little harder. I see a dogfish. Heading there now. I'm sorry, I kind of want to get off. This place is so interesting. I love this camera, man. Look at this. And then you hide the HUD and then you got this. This is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Incredible. What is this? Some sort of underground oil rig facility? Crafting blueprints. Let me grab that. Wait, how do I go down? I need a... Can we grab that? Got to focus on my objective. Oh, dude, there's so many cool things there. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. I'm sure we'll, we'll be able to come back here. Look at the killer whales. <gasps> that is awesome.
Man, I wonder if this game's... That must be the life mojo. Looks like a lighthouse. On the bottom of the ocean floor. I wonder if we're gonna see some, like, crazy, monstrous sea creatures here eventually. You know? Deeper what down the road. Here? See the docking bay there? Moon looks like snug as a bug. Procedure can be a bit fiddly though, so just uh, take it slow. Pay no mind to the drone there, it's assigned to the area. Our jobs and so on. But uh, try not to run into it. Docking complete. Heading inside. Roger that. This is very interesting. No, I'm not going to head all the way over there. So we don't have a whole lot of oxygen. We have enough oxygen, but... I don't know exactly how much enough is enough. I'm in the airlock. Excellent. Get that suit off and call me on the radio when you're inside. Just gonna... Sit for a second. It's, uh... This is all... Hey. Take your time. Been a big day. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. No worries. See you inside. Hmm. It's a lot of story and dialogue going on, which really makes such a huge difference in these games. Okay. There's... It's not as bad as I expected. It's actually... Okay. Cozy. Look at us go. This is Stan. That was his name, right? Stan the man. Got a radio call. Does, um, is this right? Hey, Tim. Finally. Okay, now the fun part. Press that button over there on the panel. Is that the light switch? You'll see. New user identified. Stanley Moray, level three worker. Welcome aboard. Stan, meet Mercury, the newest addition to the Unitrench family. Ah, a talking computer. Merck's a glorified calculator, but he'll help with the admin and the like. Just don't expect any debates on the meaning of existence or anything. Hmm. Pretty swish. You're worth it, Stan. Only the best for Unitrench employees. Uh-huh. Why do I think you're joking? I'm offended, lad. All right, so anyway, now you two are acquainted, you should have access to all the rooms. I would, all rooms now unlocked. I would like to give you a moment to familiarize yourself with all the luxurious facilities at your beck and call. Thank you. You're welcome, by the way. I'd start with the storage room. Make sure your stuff arrived in one piece. I was about to say, I like some access to lights, but here we are. Wow, man, this is quite the beautiful game. Like, really, really is. All right, we've got the storage room there. We've got, um, you know what, can we speak to this little robot? Let's do that first. Hello, user Stanley Moray. Update downloaded. Packet size, 300 kilobytes. Time taken, three weeks, six days. This looks like the storage room. All wow. Right. Absolutely. Oh, hey, come on. Last guy must have left it behind. Three missions available. The life module. Photo missions. Okay. Take a picture of a leatherback turtle, an octopus, and blue shark. Orca, humpback whale, and blue whale. Seal, whale shark, and basket shark. So those are side objectives. Presumably. Uh, is this thing on? My storage. Think everything made it down okay? Thank God. 
If something had happened to these... Well, should hang them up at some point. Without drilling any holes. <laughs> hmm. Uh, is this thing on? What a cool little game. Assuming you've no complaints, the rest of the day is your own. Make yourself at home, get some rest. Tomorrow we get to work. Nighty night. Night, Tim. Nighty night. Probably check in. Nighty night, Tim. With Emma. <laughs> well, Ooh. this is damn right hospitable. This is Too gonna be everything. so depressing. My goodness. Okay, what do we have here? A stool. Fantastic. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this will do nicely. Yeah, look at this. I feel phenomenal. Weather off the coast continues to be unseasonally calm. Great news for the local sailing regatta set to start tomorrow morning. Guess this thing's my only company down here. Not having Emma around is... It's gonna take some time getting used to. Okay. Very intuitive little game for what it is. It's got this like nice grain effect over the game. Ah, damn things frozen shut. That could be an issue. It looks awesome. Okay, so my fridge is frozen shut. I'm probably gonna starve to death before dying to any sort of marine animal or whatnot. Can we activate this little computer? Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> Alright, let's go here. I want to say this is our living facility. Living room area. We've got a toilet right at the entrance. Rather exposed. Did Phenomenal. Alone. Hmm. Not bad, considering what I went through. What did he go? Oh. Make a face. Oh. <laughs> no way. That is freaking cool. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah. I can make this work. Oh. Hey, a computer. They really did push the boat out. Tim said I can call Emma from here. <sighs> so what did he go through? The game's hinting at stuff, but... this for? I'm the only one down here and they already bagged me. Hmm. Guess I'm responsible for you guys now. Alright, let's check out the computer. Hmm. Uh, a little more complicated than a telephone, but... I think we're good to go. Hi, this is Emma. I'm not here at the moment, obviously, so do the thing after the thing. <sighs> Lost. Hi, Emma. It's Stan. I mean, it's it, it's me. Hi. I uh, I made it down okay. Uh, I know I didn't... Uh, what we said before I left, you, you said you needed space, right? And I needed space, so... So, yeah, this is space. <sighs> Uh, just that Tim set me up with a phone. Obviously, uh, it's the number I gave you. He said the the line should be fixed by now, but yeah, it's you know Trent. So who knows? I miss us. I miss. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you go. Call me. Okay. Um. <clears throat> you should you should get to bed 
Log entry day one, 2603-1979, okay. They told me I need to keep a log, personal thoughts, any issues, stuff like that. Apparently it helps maintain a steady emotional baseline. I'll take the word for it. This is my second st uh, stint as a diver and my first living on the bottom. The life module is very nice. There's a television. Honestly, I don't know what to write here. I feel good, I suppose. The isolation is nice. Needed. End of entry. We got some lost objects, instant camera, waterproof. This was just uh, here. It's in the module. Must have been left by the previous occupant that is, as it's definitely made for underwater photography. Still in the working order. Me and Emma, we used to love taking photos. So did Pearl. All right, who's Pearl? Don't tell me we had a kid or something. Day tomorrow? Let's get some shut eye. mystery to it all isn't there ha i love it this isn't right this isn't the music my gosh oh hold on we can interact with this why is this here yeah where did this come from? This is most definitely a dream. Notice how obviously we just went to sleep and this is happening, but we also don't have a HUD. We can't scan the area. We can't even swim up for that matter. So this is most definitely a dream that we're having. And I, I feel like through these dreams, that's a massive, massive whale. I feel like through these dreams, we're going to relive his past experiences. What's there? What's what? You mean what's everything going on? <laughs> oh, hold on. Another one. Car wreck. This isn't. Looks like it was driven. This is. So no. Mm -mm. Not here. I see what's happening here. Day two. Oh boy. I'm really hoping the music doesn't get us into trouble here. What was that? First day down here and bad dreams already. Thank you very much for that, Tim. So I'm going to go ahead and just say they probably had a family. Something happened, maybe a car accident, some sort of traumatic event. They couldn't take it. They needed time away from each other because they lost a child. Just speculating out of all the traumas I've had with every other game we've played here. Tempting, but no. No, you don't want to go back into bed. Oh, you're crazy. What's our objective right now? Let's check the phone. See if Emma called. Wonder if this thing has any games. 
Oh, or maybe see if it has any games. Maybe it does not. It's 1970, for the love of God. Check out my little plants here. <laughs> okay. What is happening? This'll come in handy. Should anything untoward happen? Uh, Mr. Stan, do you not poop in the mornings? No? Good, let's keep it that way. Good morning, Stanley. It is 7.32 a.m. on Tuesday, the 27th of March. I hope you have a productive day. <sighs> Any coffee on this wreck? Checking. Yes. Ten kilograms of happy morning instant coffee remaining. Great. Wake up call. Hello, user Stanley Moray. Yeah, that's the coffee machine. Did we come here? I think we did, right? Yes. Crafting table. Had a whole training module on this thing. Raw materials go in. Useful stuff comes out. Very fancy. Hm. Deactivated. Hmm. How do these guys? NGO working to protect the oceans, beaches, and all that. Keep the impact of humanity to a minimum. All right. So, whoa, that's our map. What do we have here? The surf rider. These are inventory. Surf rider foundation. I knew I recognized this logo. Surf rider. I'm pretty sure Emma joined up a few years back. As far as I remember, it was started by a group of surfers. That tracks. If you're gonna surf, you want to make sure your playground is clean, at least. Apparently, a whole group got together and decided to actually do something about the state of things. They started taking legal action against companies looking to develop and destroy coastal regions, and they won. A few years later, and there are chapters all over the world, up here even, a worthwhile cause, if ever I've seen one. So a group of surfers, they got together to save the oceans. Got our little recycling here. To make some coffee. Got some sort of new blueprint map or something. Let's make some coffee first. Cause I just woke up. All right. Let's see what you can do. I just woke up too, by the way. This is the earliest I've woken up in a while. That's how excited I was to play this game. Oh, hold on. We've got a little. I love the constant background music. I love this. It's so relaxing. My goodness. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Pretty detailed. Area seems well. Sounds like Tim's calling. Up. Oh. Tim. Going, Tim. Just a sec. Morning, Tim. There he is. How was the first night? It was, uh. It was good. Yeah. If the whole giant oil conglomerate thing doesn't work out, Unitrench has a bright future in mattresses. Only the best for our chosen few. Now. Ready to stop the day. Raring. Right then. Head on over to the job board to your right there. We'll post up the daily tasks each morning. Simple as that. Simple as that. 
See you out there. All right, so this is our mission board. Get routine missions. All right. You seem easy enough. Relatively speaking. All right, so routine missions. Audrey, clean up and locate the leak. Drone report leak near the uh, refinery. Find and repair. For your safety and privacy, all conversations are recorded. For my safety and privacy, my conversations are recorded. How does that make any sense? Okay. So do we head out now? I'm thinking yes. Here we go. Ooh. I can never get used to the plunge. Mike seems to be working. Was it not? Salt water's the toughest test bed in nature. Everything breaks down here. Just a question of time. Well, there's the view at least. You said you wanted to get away. Serene. I could lose myself in that blue. You were before. Just keep your head on. You'll get lost. Interesting. Okay, so let's go. We have a beacon there at uh, about 90 meters or so. But we've got two missions. I want to see how is it that we go about them. Do we have to get on the moon? Let's see. And you get in it, then your stamina replenishes. That's that's good to know. So you don't have to use your oxygen tanks. Or oxygen sticks, I should say. Oh, we can take pictures from here. There's a lot on this map, on this, on this little mini map. That's how we take a picture. Oh, wow. Lovely shot. Okay, sweet. Um, let me see. Let's go to, oh, this is the map here. This is the life module. That's where we live. This is uh, O2 Biogenerators, Crafting Blueprints. Um, this is a sticker. Small plane. Oh, wow. Garage Bunker. So where... Unitrange Installation. Where are our missions? That's what I want to know. These are main missions and routine missions. These are the completed ones. So we don't have any main missions right now. Okay. Let's try algae cleanup. Okay, there we go. We just did not have that activated. Head over to the gardening area. Oh, and this thing has fuel. My goodness. Yikes. I was not aware of that. Arriving at the gardens. Good. An evasive strain of algae's taken root. You need to weed them out. Always fancied myself a horticulturist. Time to flex those green fingers then. Okay. I presume I'd leave my moon here. Why is the music changing? Got to be a use for this stuff. Interesting. Ugh, horrible stuff. True, but it does produce a huge amount of O2. You never oh. know, it might come in handy. Okay. Very beautiful, man. This game is something else. This game is something else. What's with this, then? I thought it preferred warmer waters. Well, I uh, wouldn't know anything about that. 
All right, just two more to go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. Hey there. Nice. Little seal. Let me guess. No, no. Go. Yeah. Hey. Hey there, you. He's quite the celebrity around these parts. Reckon he lost the rest of his pod a while back, poor bugger. Don't worry, he doesn't bite. Ah, uh, this job definitely has its perks. That's amazing. That is just beautiful. So this I want. <laughs> After that, a job well done. What the hell was that all about? So I wanted to take a picture of the seal, but... I know this is none of my beeswax, but, um... Did you get a hold of Emma? No. Gave it a go. She was... Out. Ah. Uh, yeah. Everything... All right there? She... She wasn't happy coming down here. As environmentally minded as ever. Ah, uh, I, well, yes, I, I understand completely. I'm just um, glad she's still there for you. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Interesting. Okay, we've got some, um, uh... Got Joe there. Let's take a look at Joe. All right, so we don't have to take a picture of a seal. Joe. Joe's a veteran of these parts. So he goes, he lost the rest of his pod and quickly took to the region's divers. He recently seems interested in my comings and goings. He was GPS tagged not long after. Tim mentioned a group of uni trench researchers jumped on at the chance to track a seal like him. It's a little odd to have a wild animal follow you around like a puppy, but I can already see him growing on me. Not that I should be getting attached. Still, I'm glad to have him around. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Let's do this mission. I'll see you later, Joe. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. It's going to go back there. I think there was some plastics that I was going to go ahead and collect, but I'm sure there's going to be plenty of those. Woohoo! No, what am I doing? Why am I getting off here? I wanted to change the view. Are you finding things a bit different from harbor diving? No, yeah, it's good. Last time was, you know, nice. But this, this feels like the real deal. Car parts. It is. Nothing quite like it. Back when you started, must have been different. You'd hardly recognize it. Bear in mind, I was straight off the boats back then. Fishing trawler to deep sea maintenance. It was the Wild West. Unitrench needed everyone it could get its hands on. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Indeed. Ah, that's a blue shark. Should I get off here and grab some car parts? I don't I don't know if I feel safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. This is probably not safe. I mean, I don't know if these sharks bite or whatnot, but let's just pretend like they don't. Oh god, please help. We should be fine. But these might be crafting components that we might need. I used to own one of those. Nice. Hmm. Someone forgot their tools. Very nice. I think that was quite the scavenge. Look how deep this place is, man. This is like so beautiful down here. My goodness. Tim. 
got? Something pouring out of a pipe. Yep, confirmed on our end. We're not from the refinery. Horrible stuff. Okay. Not to worry. Follow the pipe there until you reach the flow control. That should stop it. Roger. Should we go on? Yeah, let's. System pretty hard of late. There's been more demand. Manufacturing consumer demand, wars, that sort of thing. Means there might be more leaks, small ones, you know, popping up every now and again. Keep an eye out. Let's go ahead and take. Let's go ahead and take the uh, moon. There's the leak, but why am I? I've got to follow the pipe, right? I've also realized we've acquired a repair kit. I don't know. I feel like that's telling me there's possibilities of this thing getting attacked. Not sure how excited I am about that. <laughs> Got another leak here, Tim. Should I be getting off here? Okay. Here's where we get off. That's it. Valve should be inside. Turn off the oil flux controller. Pick up some of these plastics while we're at it. And we've got some coal as well. This game is so beautiful, but man, there's there's definitely something ominous about it. I don't know what that's gonna be, but definitely. This is like a sewer. Water's filthy. happening hopefully that does it uh, leaks well it's not prepared but it stopped leaking excellent the local fishies will I'm sure be grateful head on back to the life module for now don't want you overdoing it on now what Tim Tim, you. Connection lost. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, Let's take come. that. Come on, man. Don't don't play me like this. We got some coal. I wish we could kind of harvest or mine some of these things while we're on moon. But I think we're back. We're back. Sorry about that. Happens from time to time. Now, tools. There's a crafting table in the storage room that's just been activated. Yeah. Noticed it earlier. Nice bit of kit. Usually we'd have the starter blueprints ready to go, but we're running a bit behind. Get over and grab them, would you? Absolutely, Tim. We are headed to the crafting table over at the live module. So is that the uh, life module over there? Of all 
the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her, all hands to the side up and then fought her. When she dived down low, huh, soon may the <laughs> woman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take the That's awesome. And go. No line was cut, no whale was free. The captain's mind was not of greed. And he belonged to the whaleman's creed. She took that ship in tow. Huh. Soon may the woman <laughs> come That's to awesome. bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take a leave and go. There we go. Perfect. I don't know if I needed to take a picture of those turtles, but just in case. Crafting blueprint. Probably ought to get off here and grab Don't go that. anywhere. Hold on. Find the crafting blueprints. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and do just, ju yep, do just that. Use this with a crafting table. Perfect. New crafting recipe unlocked. A repair kit. What do we have there? Oh, there's a bunch here. Got some metal. Solid and useful. Some more metal. And we've got another crafting blueprint here. Hopefully we can come across one more. Just one more. Got them. Head inside and oh. get crafting. Okay, we've got all of them apparently. go from here. Let me grab this plastic. Sorry. We must protect the oceans. <laughs> we must protect the oceans no matter the cost. What's funny is that you see this, right? And it's like it's so Lights deep and green. huge, Ready right? To go. In real life, it's much, much deeper than all of this. I mean, it's just fascinating. Oh, I think I missed the plastic there. Where's the dock area? Up ahead. Here we go. Perfect. This docking also refuels. The deep. So that's good. It's good to know. I think that was quite Back successful. Now. Try it out. All right, crafting table. Right over here. Let's get cooking. So this was a crafting table all along. So with this, we could do oxygen sticks, repair kits. are all different upgrades. You can also pinpoint where to find them, which is pretty helpful. I'll do, uh... Done. All right. Easy as that. Cool. Should let him know. Nice. I think we'll leave that for now, just in case. Um... Should unpack at least. Must cost a fortune to get all this stuff down. Should unpack at least. Must cost a fortune to get all this stuff down. All right, let's go ahead and call Tim. Tim, I am officially a master recycler. Good way to reuse all the junk may find out there. Now, we're trying to pin down where these comms glitches are coming from. Need
need you to check the local signals just outside. Follow your marker. I can do that. Stand out. Let's go ahead and check out the antennas. See what's causing all this problem. Here we go. So, should we take the moon or should we... Ah. Uh, seems like we don't need to. Why do we have all these robots? Why not just use these robots through controls? Man, this is in the 70s. Or maybe that was just a note that I read. I don't know. Oh. Those are massive turtles. Holy smokes. Alright, getting the reports. Yep, maintenance was right. Antenna issue. Stan, I need you to check on the antennas. Oh, of course. Righto. Heading there now. Where is that? Where is there now? Locate the malfunctioning antenna. Uh, oh my goodness. 300 meters. We're definitely going to have to take the moon. Alrighty, Tim, buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Woohoo! Very nice. Before the boat had hit the water, <laughs> the whale's tail came up and caught her. All hands to the side, harpooned and fought her. When she dived down low, huh, soon. All right, can we stop singing? Can we stop singing? To bring us sugar and tea and rum. I don't know why I keep One pressing Y. When the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. No line was cut, no whale was free. Whoa! The captain's mind was not of greed. He belonged to the whaleman's creed. She took that ship in tow. Huh. So may the wall man come to bring ah, sugar it's a big and tea one. and yes. rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. Lock marker. Hold LB to lock marker. Oh, I guess so you can. Okay, cool. For like a POI, a point of interest, you press LB and it just locks into the area. Okay. No problems here. No problems here. scanned it. Where's the next issue? Hold on, because it's not letting me... There we go. I guess I gotta go to the other one. It wasn't letting me scan that one again. This one's fine. Got another one over here. Thankfully, uh, blue whales are not hostile against submarines of sorts. That's good. Everything seems to be in order. Okay, one more. This one seems to be broken, but what do I know? I'm the new guy here. Gotta be one more somewhere. Over here. Oh yeah. That's there it is. The Tim, I'm at the antenna. Something's definitely not right. Right, I'll radio it in. Have a look and find out what happened. Roger that. Hmm. Looks like something. Ran into it. Something, something ran. Heavy. What do you mean something ran into it?
Last transmission packet was sent an hour ago. Oh. Whatever happened, happened recently. Whatever it was, try and find it. There's enough space down there, and things shouldn't be colliding. Well, there seems to be a trench here of sorts. So, find out what caused the damage. Impact zone. Where's, where's my submarine? There we go. Let's go. Let's go ahead and find out. So, if we follow along the trench. The trench is coming from... There we go. This way. Nope. Going backwards. Over here. I mean, I'm not sure if this is really what we're supposed to be looking. Oh, it's that way. Okay. There it is. What in the world? Whoa. I'll be back. Even the drone is out. And there appears to be some sort of oil leak. Um, transistor, maybe? The drone? There you are. Not looking good there, friend. Jim, found a drone. Looks like he got into the oil. Somewhere. Covered in the stuff. That's not normal. Mind you, it has happened a few times of late. I'll mention it to the higher-ups, but they're not exactly known for their responsiveness. Of course they're not. Why would they be? They're the higher ups. Do you ever think about your old man? I, uh. Where's that come from? I don't know. Old age catching up to me. Maybe it was just. Last week I was up on the rig. There were these trawlers. Remind me of me and your dad rolling in the net up there. Good old days. I do think of it. Sometimes. Good. Take the rest of the day, lad. Oh, and don't forget to fill in that logbook. Important stuff, apparently. Until tomorrow, then. Hmm. So he's no stranger to to his family. Which is nice. Makes me think this guy's not out here just to kill us, you know? Seems like his father passed as well. Now that, that was a day. That definitely was a day. Can't all be as long as that, eh, Matt? Right? All right, so log day entry two. First day of real tasks. Basic uh, maintenance, leaks, repairs, all covered by training. Personal thoughts, it's quiet down here. When the TV's off, it's just the currents and the whir of Mercury's hard drives or whatever it has. It's nice. Coming back here was a good decision. Coming back, so he's been here before. I don't know he was a diver, but here? So this is the Stanley Murray personal information. No idea. I've got in, uh, my own logbook entry. This is my logbook after all. This is indeed my second job for Unitech. Okay. And the second under Tim Graham. First one was uh, as a harbor diver. Basic maintenance duties. Now, well, now I'm down here in the big blue. Came down here as I needed the money. And the space and the time away from life. Yeah. Okay. Leatherback turtles. That's crazy. Communication system, broken drones. All right, so these drones are proven to be more trouble than they're worth. They pollute the place with, uh, they pollute the place something awful. 
They rarely finish a task before needing to recharge and they're constantly breaking down. Maybe they should make a drone to fix drones? This whole area is located with communication systems. There was a whole day of training dedicated to the use and maintenance of the systems, which is really quite impressive. First of its kind in the world, using all kinds of proprietary uh, tech to ensure that no one ever loses contact with HQ. In fact, they were a little too... Uh, they were a little too insistent on how reliable it was, considering they were also extremely keen when we learned the emergency procedures by heart. Alright, we just gotta end the day now. Fine. Keep your secrets. That's the bed. We gotta make faces again. Just a couple. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Sorry about that. Oh, we can shower. Is this fresh no? water or salt water? Do they just <laughs> they use this stuff outside? This is the big blue. Never gets old. You guys hear that little noise? I'm gonna see if it's part of the game now or if it's like a bug maybe. Oh god. Good night. Oh, I fucking knew it. I knew it. Oh dude. I would not I, I cannot function. I would never be able to function. No, 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 no. Man, I just had a feeling. There's a noise going on. I don't know what it is. Mm. Another dream. Oh, no. No. Not again. You guys hear that? Don't recognize this place. Jellyfish. Hmm. What in the world is going on? I mean, do we typically have these dreams or is this recently? Due to the isolation? Traumatic events? Big old chain again. My Ooh. head. Yeah. That sound. I don't like this. No. Whoa, whoa. seal <laughs> Again. oh my gosh oh what is it with these oh my head jeez okay everything's fine turn off the music enough couldn't have been something soothing could it yeah it had to be that craziness that's what you call Proper working alarm clock, I suppose. Toilet? Not like I'm gonna be having any guests. Come on, man. Take a dump, take a piss, something. Do something, man. Be human. Never had a dream. A nightmare. Oh, Quite you had a nightmare. You had a puppy too, huh? It feels like my brain's bleeding out through my eye sockets. Okay, okay, let's just uh 
Let's just get the day started. If you smell... I need to stop doing that. Look at that cute little puppy. Cute little puppy. Wash your face, maybe? Just a little bit? No? I'm so intrigued by what happened to this guy. Good morning, Stanley. Mark, change username to just Stan. Adjusting morning wake up. Good morning, just Stan. I hope you enjoyed that heavy rock <laughs> alarm this morning. <laughs> Not particularly, Mark. Not particularly. So you're the bastard with the damn stinking music in the mornings, huh? with the oxygen balance. Again? You should probably mention that to Tim. Where is Tim? Hmm. Look at these guys. NGO working to protect the oceans, beaches, and all that. To keep the impact of humanity to a minimum. Seems like some things you interact with them more than once. Whatever, I guess. I'll just sit here and make my coffee. <laughs> Uh oh. History. Batten down those hatches. The next few days are going to be wet. Hope there are procedures for that. Mm. Life might just pretty exposed. If there's a storm. No, no. Oh me. gosh. Yeah. yeah, I'll be fine. Will will we <sighs> be fine? Let's have a look and see. <laughs> yeah. No. Nothing new. The fridge is still shut. Still frozen shut. Totally fine. Man, oh man. I think I forgot to make coffee the first time. Oh boy. Sweet. Go ahead and sip on my coffee. Thank you. Mm. Oh, that's much better. Yes. Better, better. All right. Oh, head still hammering that. Hey, Joe. <laughs> hey, in here. <laughs> Clever little spud, that one. All right, call Tim. Kind of weird he hasn't. Oh. Whoa. Are we moving? Uh, God, no. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Tim's not calling. Shit's moving now. What's going on here? Tim, you up yet? I was up before you rolled your carcass into bed, lad. Now, what's the problem? Just, uh, checking in, I guess. Still finding my feet. Well, I'm about to have my third cafe of the day, so check the mission board and call me when you're out in the blue. Will do. And, uh... Go easy on the caffeine, old man. <laughs> Roger that. Right. More maintenance. Hydrogen generator outage. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of routine missions here. Machine in the Fisherman's Bank area is showing strange values. Perform an in-person inspection. It's kind of odd that these are all maintenance missions. What are the main missions? These should just be labeled as main missions, because without them we don't... Into the wild blue yonder. How was your coffee? You know I always preferred the cheap stuff. Supermarket coffee, granules, huge spoonful of sugar. Mm -hmm. A man of taste. Well, it does the job. How was your night? Any better? Nightmares. Oh, good, actually. Weird dream. Splitting headache. Wait, wait. Headache? How bad? Oh, no, okay. Pretty bad. I uh, noticed an issue with the oxygen system. That... That might explain it. Let me... Oh, damn. Yes, there's an imbalance in the mix. Sorry, lad. I should have noticed sooner. It's fine. Should have mentioned it sooner. 
I'm adding a task, high priority. Check the module O2 systems. This doesn't get you a pass on your other tasks, mind. All right. I'll uh, head there now. Okay. Reach the hydrogen bunker. I'm gonna go here first, as I'm already on my way here. So I hope you don't mind, Tim. Fisherman's Bank. Well, this is a bit deeper than we've gone recently. Should I be concerned? Maybe. Maybe not. Must be the hydrogen tanks. Should I go there? Does does my submarine fit in there? Probably not. Yeah, definitely not. Hey, Joe, what are you doing? This is probably going to be locked. Let's find out. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on, Stan. There we go. And this is going to be locked. That's for sure. Shut tight. Well, luckily for us, I uh, actually saw some sort of crack here on this pipe. Yeah. This is broken. Hey, Joe. What are you doing? Where is he? Very nice. Algae. Did I say algae? Oh, God. Algae. 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 Algae, algae. <sighs> That worked. What did I build these things out of? Paper and builder's putty. Alright, so we've got to investigate the issue here. Generators up there. Let me set foot down here. It's probably just more simple. There's my moon. Maybe... I don't know, twist this. This might do something. Maybe open that up. Okay, that's one. Oh, we've got some oxygen sticks here. Good. This is really good. Extra oxygen. Great. Absolutely. Never say never. Alright, so we're going to head over here. So creepy here. Shit. Looks like the heart of the operation. Hey, Absolutely. Hi. What's this? Uh, An octopus? Excuse me. Not sure you're qualified to be operating this machinery. Uh, Mr. Octopus? <laughs> what the? Uh, could you just? There we go. Thank you. Don't call That's... us. We'll call you. That's kind of creepy. I would have not done that. Stan, whatever you did, worked. Hydrogen levels back to nominal. Yeah, someone was trying to, uh, strong arm the system. No idea what that means. No time to find out. Meeting with maintenance department. Rare opportunity to box on his ears. Head back now. No rush. Might be worth familiarizing yourself with the area. A whole boatload of interesting wrecks around, too, if you'll excuse the pun. And do finish off any routine jobs. It is what we're paying you for. Oh. All right, so well, we have here... Look who it is. Uh, the bad news, I'm afraid. We, uh, we went with another candidate. Good luck next time. <laughs> what, you want me to follow you? Oh, this... This definitely isn't crazy. Oh, low no oxygen. Definitely not. Hello. Look at that. You are a much better tour guide than engineer. Thank you. Man, I almost got damn freaking. Well, I didn't get anything. I almost killed myself. All right, so we know octopuses are really smart, so it's probably best I follow this thing. Who knows where it might lead me? Oh, hold on. Wait for me, little buddy. Hello, Mr. Octopus? 
I mean, we do have enough oxygen sticks, so I mean, I'm not too worried about that. I'm just... What if I get jumped by like a gang of octopuses or something? We'll be pretty screwed. Definitely pretty screwed. Oh, there's a wreck there. Uh oh, there's sharks here too. Uh okay, but well, we should be fine. He's taking me to this wreck. Oh, it's a plane. Where's he taking me? Wants me to loot here, perhaps. And tell you what, loot I shall. It's a different type of material. Nice. Hmm. SG had to come in handy. Very nice. I guess this little guy came in handy after all. A jihad. Yes. There's more. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, so there is... Metals down below. Let's go ahead and grab that. Solid and useful. Perfection. Got just a bit more metals over here. And we've got some more of this. I'm actually running a bit low on oxygen. Just gonna wait for one more of those sticks to go down and then we're gonna replenish our oxygen here. Well now. I can use this. Better keep an eye on the old oxygen levels. Yep, there we go. Let's go stand. We can't die here. Not here, not now. Always be recycling. Keep going. I like how you can go through like the little crevices and holes. Got a chest here. Oh. A lantern. This would look great in the life module. Nice. A little collectible. We probably should have came on Looks on like the moon. find the pilot here. Can you imagine? I think that's about it, right? Thank you, Mr. Octopus. You've been very kind. Very, very kind. And I'm kind of wondering, like, could there be a pilot down here? You know what I mean? Like a dead body or something? That would be kind of creepy. And would definitely change up the mood of this whole experience, but... It's not too far-fetched. Alright, I think it's probably best if we get the hell out of here. The tank mix regulator. Isn't that by where our life module is? By the base? I think it was. Alright, here we've got... Alright, we got fuel. Nice. Things are starting to uh, come together. We've got another big old whale over there. Rod 14. So this is different. No, this is completely different. Our life module's over there by the big old lights. 
This is definitely in a different direction. Those are not. Oh, are those tiger sharks? Let me see. No, those are not tiger sharks. Blue sharks, more blue sharks. Now right, we've got some crafting blueprints here. Back to the deep. Back to the deep we go, Stan. Right, come on, get in there, get in there. All up in there, Stan. Let's go. Whenever we see loot, we grab it. You understand? This is We've also got some. The crafting table. Nice. We've also mostly intact. Got some fuel Pretty there strong. too. Let me say the swimming mechanics are pretty good too, which is obviously the most important part of the game, right? Good visuals, good swimming Where's mechanics, all this from? and uh, a good story so far. Pretty interesting. Got another small plane there, but we just we just just looted one, so we're gonna keep going here. Actually, never mind. There is our life module. We were, I think, we were correct this whole time. Oops. Never mind. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I've got to put some fuel. I don't know what happens if it runs out of fuel. Like, does it sink down to the bottom, or does it just not move? Stays floating. Let's see, what do we got here? Twist and turn, I suppose. Pressure looks a little low. Something's not right. I need to check the indicator light. Okay, where is that? Down below? There's always a problem here. Definitely something amiss. Looks like I need to balance out the pressure between the life module and the bubble gardens. What do you say? Pressure's still too low. An issue with the O2 cables. Looks like. Let's give them a quick checking over. But where the hell? Do I have to go to every single bio generator? No. Every cable? Hold on. Or maybe just the cables that are... Yeah, maybe just follow the cable that's... This one right here. Which is this one? Okay. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. There we go. There we Perfect. Go. Good man, Stan. Let's go. I've got another one here, but I'm going to go to the other side and check on the cable and see which one it goes to. Last one. It's going to be this one right over here. Alright, fix this right up. Right. See if that did it. I mean, if that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Right, 
Let's give it a go. Here we go. Should be on green that we release. Pressure's there we back go. In green, Tim. Looks like the oxygen is back in order. Woohoo! Okay, good. I'm glad we caught it this time. This time? The other lad was down there for weeks before he said anything, so he saw it. When we finally got him up, he was raving beside himself. Said he'd seen things in the dark. Things from a lifetime ago. What was that? Nothing. Back to work. Thanks, Tim. Okay. Pending missions. Refills your oxygen. No, that's the oxygen stake. I don't have any pending missions, man. Stan, got a priority assignment coming in. Go ahead. That bloody storm. It's shifted course. Blown a container ship to Helen back. What you need? She lost some cargo. Containers. We need to find out where they landed and make sure they haven't damaged our infrastructure. God help us if they've cracked one of the trunk lines. I'm on it. Training wheels are off on this one, Stan. This is the real deal. Understood. Mm. I'll find them. Okay, so this is what? This is considered a main mission now? <laughs> Alright, let's go to the lost containers. The music, man, I swear. Whoa. Feet don't fail me now. Hold on. We've, we've got some time here. Please don't eat me, Mr. Shark. Please. You're nice. You're nice, right? Yes, you're nice. This is this? a sticker. And uh, nothing. <laughs> sticker found. What is that? Used uh, to customize uh, scuba suits. That's pretty cool. You can customize your scuba suit. I had no idea. I mean, I know we can craft things, but I don't know what scuba suit would see. Huh? I think the coast here is clear for the most part. We are doing a phenomenal job so far. Saving the Back ocean it. and all of its creatures. Off to the lost container we go. Hoorah! Here we go. We're not too far off. We're about to find out what the hell's going on here. Oh man, look at the containers. Fuel light flashing. Arriving in the area. Woo! Use the sonar. It'll pick up any containers. I need you to check them so I can mark them off against the manifest. And don't forget to let me know if anything looks damaged on our end. Will do. Sweet. One of all the creatures in the sea, these so-called killer whales have got to be one of the most impressive. I mean, just look at them. They're giant, toothy dolphins, and every bit as clever as their smaller cousins, ruthless pack hunters. I pity the seals around here being constant alert of a pot of these magnificent buggers but that's the issue a huge amount of their food has died off and moved on can't survive without food and add in all the plastic pollution they're sus uh, susceptible to and yeah future is pretty uncertain for these apex predators those are the real apex predators of the ocean <laughs> fuck a great white they, that shit is crazy those things are so smart Coming up on the first container. Man, don't get me wrong, gray whites are menacing. They look insane, but man, those killer whales are just different, bro. Some, so different. Checking it out. They have like their own languages. Different pods of like whales have different languages from different parts of you know around the world. This, they're freaking brilliant, truly. Another docking station. Well, that's interesting. Well, we're not here for this. We're here for the containers. And we're not too hot on fuel. I do have some reserves, but I don't want to overdo it. That time's the jump. Zero, three, eight, four. Roger. A shipment of Princess Griffin dolls. Someone's not getting their birthday present. Dolls? But... This thing is huge. Welcome to the wonders of international shipping. Dolls. 
<laughs> in the shipping container. Zero eight zero nine. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Nice. Toilet paper. Eleven oh six. Not on my registry. Oh, rather, it is, but its contents aren't listed. Something about deep sea research. Illegal. Perhaps okay. some illegal contraband. Hopefully, uh, Tim, I, I can't read the number on this one. No, it's it's too badly damaged. Because things were going so well, you're going to have to find a way inside. The number will be in there too. Inside. Um, it looks pretty. Look, just. I'm sure you can find a way in. Don't worry about damaging the thing. Just give it a try. Um, as I was saying, I'm hopefully... I mean, I'm hoping that Joe doesn't get eaten by those whales. That would be some shit. Ooh. It's gotta be probably a hole somewhere here. We're gonna go by the front? It's gotta be locked. There's no way. Let's give it a go. Let's try. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, hey. Whoa. Whoa, 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 Shit. whoa. Got a runaway container. I'm following it down into the river. Careful. Don't get beneath it. Are you insane? Impact. Whoa, whoa. Broken through to a lower cavern of some sort. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is, uh... Content's coming out. Looks like the fool broke it open. Toys. Uh-oh. I don't like the vibe right now. Music is changing. What is? Tim, I... There's... Get here. I mean, this Whoa. cave is far too. There's no way it could have gone. Tim, I, I don't know if you can hear me, but there's a wreck down here. Submarine. Old. I'm gonna take a look. Bro. Lime fish. Let's get down here. Can we go inside the container? Like swim in there? We should be able to, right? No? It's not it's not our priority anymore. Our new priority is this. got a lock here maybe we can go through the top or we can probably open this Oof. oh so if we had a mine we could open it oh shit we don't have that okay so we could probably get in through here or not Dude, they have a fucking turret on that thing.
So how am I supposed to get inside? I do not have... Enter the submarine. is in the Let's 70s confirmed for sure currently out taking place out of mind maybe we could just go into here no getting in here no we got it we got to use the mine interesting okay so we're gonna have to use the mine Is this going to have any any uh, negative impacts on our surrounding area? This is going to be a big bang here. It's kind of crazy. Placing mine. Oh, God. Hasn't been open for decades. Right. I'm assuming grab this, right? Yes, because it gives you metal parts. Nice. Okay. Interesting. Whoa. I'm getting that little noise again. You hear it? Easy does it. Oh boy. That's deep, bro. I don't know, man. You gotta be crazy to be coming down here like that. Oh my god. This guy is nuts. What happened here? Is that a boot? One less bottle in the sea. It's a bottle? Oh, okay, sorry. Another mine. This is better work. Oh boy. Here we go. Grab the metal parts. I like that you can Chunk still scavenge that. No sign of the crew. No remains. This doesn't feel right at all. Eden? Were they Eden? Oh, shit. Whoa, bro. This is God. incredible. My head. What's this? Are we some power still? out there amazing this stuff still works after what, 30 years on the bottom Tim said these were new how 
like the one from my kit. But this cave was sealed. This wreck yeah, was what sealed. The fuck? Bro, what is the mystery going I'm on? Come to regret this. At this point, I don't trust anybody, bro. I would not tell Tim a word about this. What is that? I don't. What? Hey. Hmm. Is this real? Jellyfish, don't touch that. You insane? He's probably dreaming all of this. Who knows? <sighs> so trippy. All of the jellyfish, let me guess. <laughs> Wait. No, come back. Please don't leave me. Please. Oh, man. Follow the light. His daughter. Pretty fucking sad. Little jellyfish. Not so little. Pretty freaking big. Oh, look. We've got some steps here. Hold on, and we've got a couple mines here as well. I'll be right with you. Grabbing a mine. Little jellyfish. Just give me a sec here. Oh, this is the exit. Very odd. Where's that jellyfish? That was. I, s I saw. Where did it come? I saw it leave. I gone. There's nothing here. Tim. Oh, I need to call. I well saw. Done. Calm down. What if he's going crazy? You can't do something like this. Ranting. Ah, I can't tell Tim about this. He'll think. Think I'm crazy. He'll pull me out. Ah, my head. God. Where's my submarine? What the hell? What's up there? Still. Sheesh. Time to leave. The pressure down there must be crazy, too. Hey, Joe. Hey, hey, give me the bottle. Give me the bottle. You don't belong in here. Joe, you're going to choke and you're going to scare me to death, man. Back at it. Reached moon. Very interesting. What's happening? Slowly, slowly unraveling Damn, here. There's a, a sub here. Old World War II, probably. I was. There was. Something else? What? Slow down. You're not making sense. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. Stan, you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I, I'm just. Tired, I think. Yeah, I'm just. Look, we logged all the missing containers. Job well done and all that. Get back to the life module. Looks like there's a whole heap of shit coming your way. I'm. Uh, I'm okay. Okay. Uh, everything's fine. If you say so, lad. Just. Don't go disappearing on me again. Bad for my nerves. Tim, I... What's that? In the wreck, there was a... I saw... Ah, never mind. Just thinking about... Uh, everything's fine. Heading home. It's all right, lad. Whatever happened, it'll be all right. Stan, one last thing. 
Emma tried to call. What? When? Wait, how did you... I'm not monitoring your calls or anything. Merc just activates a ping when there's an outside connection. Right. Okay. Well, okay, I guess I'll call her back before... before I hit the sack. That was a day. That was crazy. I need sleep. Wait, we yeah. gotta call Emma first, Just a right? Back of sleep. Um. If you smell, should we call her first? Yeah. Let's call her. Oh boy. Hello? 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 Hi. I can hear you. Me too. I. <laughs> uh. Emma? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, hi. 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 How have you been? Yeah. Is everything. Uh, sorry. No, no, no. Go on. Go on. I missed your... I, I... I was out on assignment when you... when you called and... Uh-huh. It's fine. I... I wasn't... No, really, it's fine. It's fine. Was that the game doing that? <sighs> so... How have you been? How's... Surface World? Good. Work is, um, hectic. They found a new subspecies of Sosteraceae, so I'm trying to integrate that into the syllabus last minute, and and the Vibrio Parahemolyticus dissertations are, well, I, you get the idea. Everything's fine. Great. Great, great. And you? How are you? Uh... Tired, but... In a good way, I, I guess. Busy, tired. Unitrench is still Unitrench when it comes to quality control, you know. Well, good to hear that particular grudge remains justified. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, uh... Did you... Did you get my message? Yes. Yeah, I did. I just... Things are... I'm worried, Stan, about you. No, I... I, I don't want you to... This isn't healthy. It's been... It's been three years. Don't. I love you, and I miss you, but hiding yourself away won't... No. Please, just... And you're not the only one who's suffering. But... We cannot... We can't live there anymore. Back there. I need you with me here. Now. I am. I am. I am with you. I mean... I, I want to be. But I told you, I... I still need time. Time to what, Stan? Because as far as I can see, you're just treading water. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't mean to upset. I just 
Look, I heard there was a storm coming, and I wanted to try and beat you. What? I can't... Emma? The line's going. I can't. I don't want to lose another part of my family to that company. Fuck! Uh, she can be so... Whoa. Uh, why can't she just have a little faith in me? God damn it. Did she say, I don't want to lose another part of my family to that fucking company? Oh. That's not good. I've written or rewritten this three times now. Last try. I saw something today in a wreck. There's an old submarine down here in a cave. It makes no sense. Kind of gotten herself into, uh, can have gotten in there itself. Inside there was something. I heard a person, maybe? Looks ridiculous written down. Along with the nightmares I've been having, something's definitely off. Bro, this guy's going crazy. He lost his daughter three years ago. Bro. Very interesting. <laughs> 